Hey everybody, just a follow up from yesterday's video from when I went to stop at CVS and they were kind of low on their toilet paper, paper tiles, paper supplies, and they were low on olive oils and things like that. Today I went by Target in my area and they had ample supply of toilet paper and paper products, ample supply, at a decent price. Like, you can get a four-roll pack of that scalp tissue that I like so much, four bucks. Actually, it was like $3.99, which is a pretty hot price. So, very excited about that. And I checked back in the area where the olive oil was, and they had the glass bottles. They also had the cheaper plastic bottles, but the glass bottles of olive oil were back at what I would consider more of a normal price, where, you know, I paid eight, $8.49, I believe, for um, the plastic bottle, 17 ounce of olive oil yesterday, um, but it was a buy one, get one half off. At Target, you can get a 16 ounce glass bottle of olive oil for $5.49. Can I say, wow? And there was ample supply of that there. So it looks like whatever's going on in the supply chain, other places, Target is keeping things stocked up pretty good. They had a good supply of different foods in the freezer section and the prepared meal section and the fresh meat and the fruits and produce section. They had a good supply of everything. And their workers were busy like little bees humming around through there. It's, you know, mask policy. So everyone was masked in there, but it went really smoothly. Um, really happy to see that. And then they had some discounts too. Target has some discounts right now on lamps and, you know, light fixtures and things like that. And of course, the back to school discounts. So if you know anyone that needs to work on that kind of stuff, now may be a good time to get it. I mean, they can get like five of the plastic two pocket folders for the back to school set. It, it used to be that you can get five for a dollar, but those were the paper folders, but you can get five of these plastic two pocket folders, which are much more durable and last a lot longer for two dollars. So it was it was looking pretty good. So just wanted to share that real briefly. You know, even if one place is saying that there is nothing available or you're not seeing the supply at one place, uh, try checking out another place. Um, the Dollar Tree is usually reliable for having, you know, some things like, especially for kids, back to school stuff, the crayons and folders and pencils and things like that. And seasonings, like if you need some uh, seasoning, if you go to the family dollar store, you can certainly get a lot of seasonings that you can stock up, stuff that you might want to use now and stuff that you can save to have for later dates, you know. And, you know, there's toilet paper at family dollar store, um, toilet paper at like Dollar Tree, I'm thinking Dollar General, Dollar Tree, there's so many different brands of dollar stores, but the Dollar Tree, everything in there is one dollar. The Dollar General, the price range may go from a dollar to like twenty, twenty-five, thirty dollars. And the family dollar store, the price range can go from a dollar to twenty-five, thirty dollars, sometimes more than that if you're getting like a sound bar for your television or stereo or something because they even offer those kinds of things. But it's good to know that there's still an ample supply of paper products and toiletries and toothpaste and things like that. But as the seasons start to change, remember to be like the ant storing up and being ready for what's next to come because when the dark clouds roll in, we know that something is right around the corner and the clouds are starting to get a little dark. So I'd say be prepared 
for what may be up around the corner. Hope you guys have a great night and take care.